My name is Ingrid Johnson. I'm a master's degree exercise physiologist here in Encinitas, California, specializing in exercise programming for people with Parkinson's. Today, we're going to do number four of the LSVT program that is designed specifically for people with Parkinson's to combat the smallness of movement. So we're exercising in big movements. And our number four is the sideways step. It's going to look like this at the end of this little exercise session. Okay, so first we're gonna warm up the shoulders. So we're gonna rotate the shoulders up and down. And as you rotate the shoulders, it's going to continually improve. You're gonna feel the range increasing with every repetition. And that's exactly what we want to have happen. So get the thumb down, get the thumb to the back, thumb down, thumb to the back. And you want to really feel that this rotation is coming from here. So not focusing on the thumb or the hand so much, even though that is the moving part, more of the moving part, we want to focus on the internal part of the movement, which is, in case, this case, the shoulder. Good. And then lower the shoulders. Okay, let's go ahead and roll the shoulders up and back now. Up and back. Up and back. Up and back. Up and back. And let's reverse this. So we're going to come forward with the shoulders. And forward. And, for, and then you can get the whole body involved too. The number one tight spot that I hear people have with Parkinson's is the shoulder. So it really behooves us to make sure that we're focusing on the shoulder rotation. So here are big shoulder movements. And I'm also transferring my weight to the left and to the right. So left side, right side, left side, and right side. I'm transferring the weight. It feels really good. And now let's go ahead and come forward. Again, the biggest stretch that you can muster up for this. So coming forward, coming forward. Four and three and two and one. And let's go ahead and crisscross the arms in front of the body. Crossing the arms in front of the body or crossing any limb really across the midline is very healthy for your brain function. It improves both left and right side brain functions cognitively and just really wakes up both sides of the brain and allows them to work together. All right, super. Okay, now let's go ahead and warm up the hip area for the sideways step. The first thing we're gonna do is lift up our heel like so and then rotate. This is also known as the cigarette butt stretch. You think about like you're grinding out a cigarette butt and go ahead and do this and increase this range as, again, as you are doing it. So the first repetition is not the same as the 10th repetition. Constant improvement is what you wanna um, acquire and that mindset of constant improvement really helps your movements and your exercise. So here we go. Here we go, see I'm already getting a little bigger. I'm internally, externally rotating the hip. Again, keep your mind on the hip area of movement, not the foot so much. And nine, here we go, and 10. Okay, so next we're going to do a little sideways step, just a small step out to the side. And I'm gonna do left and right. So as I step out, you shift your weight and come back, you shift your weight. So be aware of this weight shift because it also helps with your balance. So I shift and I shift and I shift and I shift, good. Now let's do the same shift and let's add the arms. So I'm gonna take my hands, palms down and in this one, I'm going to just keep my palms down and shift shift and shift and to increase the shift you can think of like sending arrows out of your fingers to the side good okay so let's do five more five four I'm sending arrows out through my fingertips and three 
and two, and one. Great. And a couple of shoulder shrugs. Okay. So now from here, we're going to start a little bit of a, a forward movement, and then we're going to go to the side. So I'm going to step forward and back, and then I'm going to step side and back. So forward, come back, step side and come back. So forward, my toe points straight ahead to the side. I'm opening up the hip and I'm allowing the toe to point to about two o'clock or 10 o'clock. So forward, come back. Again, feel that weight shift. You're shifting the weight forward and you're coming back using the core. I'm shifting the weight a little bit sideways and back to the core forward back and side and back forward back side and back make these steps small so that they can be focused sometimes we start to do too much at once and there's neither focus nor good movement quality so palms together here I want you to go ahead and lift them up here now turn your palms up and lift back down palms are up I'm going to turn my palms down and lower so as you lift you should feel an external rotation of the shoulders and lift back down rotate in and down lift rotate out up out get that rotation back in and down up rotate out feel now the shoulder blades even getting involved yes and back down and last one here I'm gonna take it out I'm gonna rotate to open and that might feel really tight uh, but that is the tightness that you want to work through okay so here we go all right so now I'm gonna take a step back and a step out to the side so I'm gonna step back again I shifted my weight back I'm coming back and I'm taking the step out to the side and back. So stepping back and then out to the side. So if you think of a dial of a clock, I'm going now back to six o'clock and then to my 10 o'clock, six o'clock and 10 o'clock, six o'clock, 10 o'clock, six o'clock and two o'clock now let's add the arms so I'm taking my arms out still palms down I'm gonna take back out to the side back out to the side and one more time back out to the side and back and out to the side and big circles big circles five Four. See if you can stretch more this time than we did in the beginning. Reverse. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight. Awesome. All right. And so last thing we're going to do is we're going to put this all together now and just sidestep. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to sidestep, open palms, come back. Sidestep, open palms, come back open palms come back open palms come back open palms come back open and back open and back shift your weight shift it back starting from the, out from the core back into the core and last time here we go out and back out and back thank you so much for watching i'll see you again next time